The folks who wrote the Gospels wrote them to tell people about Jesus who didn't know much about him. And that means if Christians want to introduce Jesus to folks who don't know him, maybe people like you, or who only know caricatures about his message, then the Gospels are a pretty good place to start. And we're going to start in the Gospel of Mark and go bit by bit, video by video, and we're just going to look at the first three verses or sentences from his book today in this video. And Mark's message in this little section is very simple, and it's two parts. Uh, one is that God has good news for you, the best news. And the second part is that he is begging you to listen to him, to listen to this good news. And there's two things I want to talk about uh, from the three verses that are on your screen. The first is that Mark calls Jesus uh, the Messiah, the Son of God. And there's a whole lot I could say about what it means that Jesus is God's Son. But what I want to emphasize here that we really need to get is that Son means there's a closeness, a bond, a love between God the Father and God the Son. And if God sent his Son to rescue us, and the Bible tells us the Son eagerly agreed to go in Philippians chapter 2, then it must be pretty important to him, to both of them. And that means that we owe God our attention to at least consider this message that's so important to him, to give it a hearing. And the second thing I want to point out is two things that are said, uh, prepare the way of the Lord and make straight paths for him. A messenger named John the Baptist said those things uh, right before Jesus's ministry began, just like a much earlier prophet named Isaiah said he would. And this is a metaphor for describing a clearing away of debris, sort of making a clear path through the messiness of our lives so Jesus can have a fair hearing. Our lives are cluttered with lots of stuff, lots of debris, uh, hurt, pain, bitterness, bad experiences, bad habits. And John the Baptist is saying, hey, listen, clear all that away. Just clear a path away through this debris so Jesus can come right up to us and speak to our hearts and minds so we can hear and consider this message because all of the clutter has been cleared at least partially away. And this good news that Jesus has to give us, I'm going to describe by paraphrasing the words of a pastor named Timothy Keller, who just recently passed away. And he liked to say that we are all more flawed and sinful than we'd ever believe, but more loved and accepted in Jesus than we ever dared to hope. And we all need to be rescued from ourselves. And Jesus has come to make this rescue happen. And we'll let Mark tell this story throughout this video series. But for now, you can scan this first QR code to learn more about this good news. You can scan the second one if you want to contact our church for more information about this. And you can scan the third one to download an app so you can read Mark's letter for yourself. I hope you do one uh, or all three of those and learn more about this good news that Jesus came to bring us. And may God speak to you through his word.